Why well, hello there everybody, my name is Fretex and welcome back to Battle Lord. I currently am commanding a very large squad of peasants and garrison troops trying to save my very last city from being taken over by the Roman legions. Now hopefully we have enough peasants here to swarm the legions one stab at a time, but there's a good chance we might lose as well because these guys are pretty damn strong. Uh, cavalry, split So I have um, a massive line formation with the hopes that they might try and like surround them in the battle start. I swear to see though. Oh my god, there's so many throwing weapons. Be careful, guys. Wait, I'll hide behind you, Steve. You keep me protected, friend. Okay, ready? Ready? Charge! So hopefully the guys in the corners will kind of fold around the enemy flank a little bit. At least that's the plan anyway. We actually have some archers as well for some reason, so I got them to go around the back of the formation to shoot them as, as we fight here. Now, I have got a lot of reinforcements on the way, but I think there was an additional Roman Legion coming towards us. So after this battle, we might have to take on a second one afterwards as well. Oh, is that the main guy? That's a flag bearer. Kill the flag man. Beautiful. I like how the uh, flag just falls down and plants stuff in the ground underneath the horse immediately. Okay, did my strategy work? No, I don't think we flanked the enemy, but we do have a lot of archers over there. Archers, spread out and kind of just <laughs> shoot them in the back. It'd be fine. So arrows don't do much damage in this mod, but... They will stun enemies when they shoot them. So maybe it'll help us get a few more kills as we fight here. Because currently, it's a pretty equal battle at the moment. No one's really winning. No one's really losing. Men? Well, actually, what am I doing? Ah, oh, I don't know. I was going to say, I get some guys to fire me particularly, but it's a bit late for that. Archers, fire! Well, hello there. Let's see if we can break through the back here. Oh, no! That really hurt me. What was... Was that a stab? <laughs> oh, my God. I'm pretty sure he must have hit me in the arm there, because it's the weakest part of my body. Everything else has like 120 armor, so not so much on the arms. Break in there, man. Let's look how big this... Actually, I'll tell you what, it did kind of work. We created like a giant semicircle. I kind of feel like we should ignore those archers at the back and just stand directly behind them. <laughs> archers, move up, guys. Move up. Hi. Right. So I have actually... Last episode, we actually did a thing where we increased the... Whoa! We actually increased the amount of parties all our leaders can have so i think very shortly in the next episode or two we should get a very very large amount of allies swarming it to italy hopefully all of us combined we can actually take on rome and destroy the romans for good i'm looking forward to it anyway archers increase the fire rate destroy our foes i'm pretty sure they're only doing like 10 damage or so a hit but it's better than nothing right i mean look at these tiny bows they have <laughs> it's ridiculous I think these guys are from the garrison, by the way. They're not actually part of my armies. Okay, uh, let's see. We're still very equal right now. I'm just going to try and work on folding a flank, and then we can push through and kill everybody at the end there. I'm... No! Oh, I thought I died. I have literally one HP. <laughs> I can't see my HP anymore. All I know is I'm pretty much hanging on by a thread right now. I'm currently writing my will as we speak. Oh, I'm getting a lot of headshots here. Okay, the, the flank's starting to fall. This is what we want to see. I did actually try a version of this battle with me using formations to flank in me, but it didn't work as well. I think this having a really long line kind of works just as well, if not a bit better than having uh, multiple formations. The problem is, if you do that, you kind of need more commanders. I've only got one, really, so this is one of those things. Oh, it's all falling apart now. Once you kind of start getting like 2v1s everywhere, you do start collapsing their line. I mean, look at the top right of the screen. We are killing them in droves right now. Oh, also, I re-enabled the posture system to see if it helps with combat. It does a bit. So I noticed that the Romans tend to stumble a lot. Well, so does everybody. And they kind of stumble out of positions. They get killed a lot easier. So it kind of works in our favor there. Done. We've done it, men. We survived. It's all thanks to this militia squad. <laughs> Actually, not really. Actually, I'll tell you what, what we should do... Where are the militia? Garrison... They got 60 kills. So they did actually do quite a bit of work there, so that was pretty good. In fact, were they the best units in our army? Uh, yes. No, no, no my guy, my basic spearmen, the peasant version, were the best. Look at that kill-death ratio, beautiful. Okay, victory has been achieved. So now that we've managed to defeat one of the Roman armies, uh, I'm going to take more prisoner, by the way. You're coming with me. I'm going to leave them all in my city, 
and eventually once we like wipe out the faction I'm going to come back and I'm going to mass execute like 50 of them it's going to be glorious hopefully my city is good enough to actually did I just leave all that loot behind <laughs> do you know what it was on purpose everybody that's that's the law of this video because now it's given me more experience to upgrade my troops more yes it was on purpose <laughs> don't question it hello uh you thought you escaped you you haven't yeah you're, you're coming with me i'm gonna capture them all put them in prison and then it just be us against the garrisons Actually went pretty well. I thought we were going to lose for a, a bit there, but we do seem to have smashed it out. Go to the dungeon. Drop off all the lords. I actually have more than I thought I did. There's tons of lords here. So what we should do, we we'll just sell all these random troops. Just so, yes, I'm sure. We get a little bit more money from this way. Done. Cool. So, next step is going to be, we probably want to look in the garrison a little bit here. Because if this place gets... If this basically gets attacked a lot, it's actually not that bad. We can come back and save it over and over again. So it doesn't matter too much. Once my allies show up en masse, we should have a lot of troops helping us in this region. I think there is one allied army over there, which is currently fighting the Dacians. And we have another one. Oh, they're both over there. Oh, no. I think they're going to go for this faction instead. That's a bit annoying. I actually did turn off the war exhaustion mechanics. That's why that's gone from top of the screen. Because it was making wars last for like two days. So I thought I'd just get rid of it. So, let's call some backup then, I think, in this situation. I need as many men as possible. So let's call some big, stacky guys like these. And this should be enough to maybe take on some castles. What's happening over there? Oh, that guy is so screwed. Oh, he's dead. And there's now a bigger army coming. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it's okay. Reinforcements are on the way. They'll save us. Although, it does seem like one of the armies is heading my way, so we should get some backup here. Perfect. I think we're... T oh, this guy's army is massive! Perfect. Sorry, Romans, I think your goose is cooked. They did get some last-minute reinforcements here, but we outnumber them two to one, so we should be okay. What I can do now, then, if we've got two big armies, I will flank with my entire army <laughs> on the flank here. Uh, everyone... Follow me, men. We're going around the back. Oh, I guess the question is going to be, though, what are my allies going to do? Are they going to charge? Hopefully they do. Oh, we're kind of fighting in a swamp as well. It's a bit annoying. Oh, wait. My ally formation doesn't seem that big. It's mostly my troops. 500, 500. Interesting. Okay. I guess they've given us exactly the same amount of troops, which makes this a lot harder, actually, because uh, we're kind of far behind. My allies are already halfway there. This could be bad. Okay, cavalry. I think troops need to die to get more infantry in the battlefield. So if you're... <laughs> you guys might need to get yourselves killed for me. Can you just start charging? Oh, no! Oh, get back on the horse. Get back on the horse. That was a bit scary. Last thing you want to do in the first bit of the battle is get knocked off your horse. Okay, my very weak allied army has already begun the attack. I don't think it's going to go very well with the amount of troops they have. Dudes. You need to hurry up, man. We're in a war. Run, men. Run, run, run. Come on. Full speed. Oh, no. There's no chance they're going to survive long at all. you got to stop. It's like yeah, control to a war. Double tap. Click, everybody. We need to get these guys to run. How do we get them to go faster? Run, men. Run. They're just too damn casual. Okay, so we're going to go around the back completely and we're going to start attacking. So the idea is going to be when reinforcements spawn from my allies' defeated infantry, they will come from the other side, right? So we have like a very slow flank. Keep coming with me, men. We're going around the back here. Oh, they want to throw stuff. No throwing, men. Ooh. Actually, it went pretty well. I think we got quite a few hits there. Nope. Stay away from me. I've been killed by cavalry far too much. <laughs> it's scarred me for life at this point. Okay, men. Move in. Attack. It's a bit bulky, but we should be mostly on the side here. Uh, behind you, there's a Roman just staring at you with a shield up. Be careful. Oh, speaking of shields, mine has just been destroyed there. 
be careful. When are we getting reinforcements? So far, the Romans have got the advantage here. They killed more of us than we killed of them. Guys, you need to spread out more. Okay, let's try and remove the formation back. And we we'll tell them to charge again. Spread out, guys. Spread out. We don't need 400 guys versus one enemy here. Okay, once they're in position, we we'll tell them to charge again. This rumor does not go down. He is tanky. The back of the legs. Their weak point. It's like the kitty's heel. Perfect. She goes out. Wait, are you an enemy? It's a traitor. How dare he betray his glorious brethren in combat. I think we got to the point where we can start a proper attack, everybody. Move in, move in! Charge! Well, I think we're going for the archers right now. As long as they're attacking someone, I don't really care, to be honest. I just want them to get spread out so we weren't just fighting, like, 50 guys on one. I'm surprised my ally still hasn't fallen apart yet, but we are moving in to help now. It's a, some kind of leader. That guy looked very important. I probably should double-check. Who is the lord of the... Um, Imperium Romana. We have to keep an eye out of them so we can kill them in combat here. Okay, kills looking a bit better for us now. I'm seeing more green and less red over and over again, so it's looking pretty good. This bit here is looking very good, actually. We're moving on the flank quite well. Oh, the encirclement's beginning. This guy looks like he's already hurt, actually. If we just... Uh oh, it's happening. Someone help me! <laughs> I can tell the shift in the AI when they're like, we're going to kill you. Uh, are you running away or are you going to reinforce your friends over there? It's like, oh, I see Steve over there. Trying to get his arms where he hasn't got any armor. Oh, 85 damage! They're running. It's over. We just defeated two Roman armies in a row, which is absolutely perfect here. That was a big battle, though. We lost a ton of troops, but at the same time, we did edge a win there. You're my prisoner. Welcome. Are you the leader of this faction? Oh, it's Regaria. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Let's keep an eye out for her. Not many units we rescued there, but it's okay. Oh, I should have taken the... Uh, I could have sold them in the base again. Though I've got plenty of money right now. So that worked out pretty well. We actually managed to defeat both armies there. And I think that should be the majority of their forces. Because we have a ton of people in my prison right now. There is still... Oh, yeah, we killed half of them already. This is perfect. The kill death ratio, though, is pretty scary. <laughs> they are doing a bit of damage to us, to say the least. So I guess at this point then, we wait for the reinforcements and we start trying to take down their cities and stuff. Oh, I got a lot of spam. Wait a second. Let me just get through the spam filter here. There's so much of it. What's going on here? Done. Okay, cool. So I reckon we try and... What we got? An extra 600 troops coming, which is a ton. We try and capture the entrance point. So we go for like these guys and then we just push down and try and take down the Romans in their capital city here. Now... We guess we want to keep an eye out in case they respawn an army or something. We go for the castles first, and then we go for the city at the end. Okay, we got to a point where I can actually attack now. I've got some units ready to go. Everyone, charge. I've gone for the approach where I've destroyed all the wall stuff, and we actually just... When well, I say wall stuff, I mean catapults and whatnot. And I've just gone for two siege towers. So hopefully together we can take them down. We have to probably wait a little bit for them to hurry up though, because uh, they're a bit slow siege towers. They're not exactly the fastest things in the world. What the... Our longbows are great. Guys are doing a great job. Look at all these kills. <laughs> wow. I guess they are killing uh, peasants without any armor at all. So it does work out a little bit there. Men, are we ready to break into their fortress? The, the amount of <laughs> throwing weapons we're doing this is insane. Get up, size men. Go, go, go. Now get up there, man. We must breach the walls. 
It's tight. Oh, wow. They've all been killed by the throwing weapons. Look at this massacre. Oh, my God. Let's try and get these guys out of the way. Oh. No, 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 no. Let's be careful here. Don't you look at me like that. No. I'll t Wait, why is he not using a glass? Wait, he's got a swinging sword. You can't hurt me with that, you fool. Kill them. Oh, he's... He's a cavalry guy. He must have been... There must have been like an allied party inside the castle or something. I thought I was really at a sword. There's only a few of them here. Wait, don't accidentally like knock him out by a headbutt or something. <laughs> what with that guy? We don't know. Oh, it'd be funny if he just got hit in the face by the uh, grape shot. That'd been amazing. So it looks like we won this way as well. Where do we go to finish the siege off, though? I don't know. Oh, there's a guy. Oh, I was going to say, where are the enemies at? But I think what's happened is, when we were waiting, they must have got killed by famine or something. Because there should be like 200 enemies defending this castle. Oh. I guess we're okay then. Great true men, victory. Oh no, I'm wrong, sorry, we did kill 202. It's just that I think the archers killed like loads at the start, so there wasn't that many infantry defenders. Well, that's one out of the way. I don't think we're gonna be able to grab that. Oh, that's a pretty cool flag. I don't think we're gonna be able to grab that random guy. Let's put that on there, I think. Next to us with the army, but we can give it a shot. We can see if we can get there in time. Hopefully we can. Devastate. No, I just want to destroy it. <laughs> we must make them weaker. Get back here. How does it feel now? You can't defeat me one-on-one. -on -one. I got three times your number. <laughs> what is this? Vote for the owner. Oh, can I have it? Nice. If I can take this territory, I will. Because it means I can have a cool part of uh, the map here. Now, they are getting away. Are they going to attack my city? No, where are they going? We don't know. Well, they're off. Never mind. So, where, where are we going to go next, then? We can try and grab the city, I think. Because we've got such a big army right now. It'd be a waste not to try. Because it's also going to be hard to maintain this as well. Because we're going to need a lot of influence to keep it going. And I won't be able to do it for that long. It's just too big, everybody. I haven't got the, the little finger expertise of influence to keep everyone in the line here. Oh, I got it. Nice. It's mine now. Thank you. Wait, did I take over multiple places? Oh! Wait, where's this then? Wait a minute. Do I like a random place now? Oh. <laughs> I didn't really want that. But I'll take it anyway. It's fine. The siege. 34 days of food. So we're going to have to win this one via the power of sieging. But we can we can figure that out. Let me just do this correctly. Uh, get rid of the third one. The fourth one, sorry. Schedule that. That way. That's the perfect order for this current mod set, everybody. It should work out great. We have to attack now. I'm about to run out of cohesion in probably the next tick or so. So we need to go in immediately. Now, I do have, I think, all the stuff on the walls blown up. It's just going to be the siege towers. So hopefully this time we can actually get in and do some combat ourselves. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, what kind of battle is this? Um, one guy. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's a ram! I love the ram ones! You just walk right up, there's no ladders to climb! Okay, this is perfect. So we're waiting for them to get close to the battlefield and we run in. And hopefully we can have a cool time here. Look at all these throwing weapons! <laughs> so many of them! Imagine if they... Act when eventually when they um, mod the game a bit more, so throwing weapons do damage. Can you imagine the amount of kills we get right now? It would be insane. It'd just be like 100 kills in the first 5 minutes. It's... Is it ready? Okay, I'm going to activate the gate men. Prepare to invade the city. Follow my lead to victory. Uh, are they running away? Oh my god, they just got destroyed. Always be careful. They might, they just killed the cameraman. Jeff! No. Okay, we've got to be careful there. Reinforce coming in. Wait, guys, it's a ramp. Just walk up it, men. Walk up it. Uh oh, that guy looks really weird, actually. What's, what's, this, what's he called? <laughs> He's the Extraordinary Legionary. I'm trying to... I'm pressing E, but it doesn't work sometimes. There you go. We got there in the end. Oh, I'm getting pipped down by loads of random things here. 
The downside of using a very long range spear against the Gladius. They attack way faster than us. Okay, we're coming in. Uh, my allies are using that by looks of it as well. Let's try and break in. Kill as many as possible, men. Make a breach. Now, we've got no one coming in through the main gates because I did not build a ram. I feel like it kind of makes it things... Oh, no! Oh, no! Wait, retreat, retreat! I'm not here. I'm a figment of your imagination. Okay, I wish I had some bodyguards. Let me just do a thing. Uh, let me go group. Follow me, ten men. Save me from death, please. <laughs> I need assistance. This guy has a mission, apparently. He doesn't care about me. So you reckon I can kill these guys with these throwing weapons? I can. We found a way. Uh oh. Oh, I'm a terrible throw, though. It's a good thing that I don't actually need to use these properly, so it wouldn't work. <laughs> Shameful display, everybody. Shameful display. Okay, I've had enough of those guys. We'll leave the rest alone to the uh, random enemies here. Oh, are these my guards? I think they've already arrived. Cool. Follow me, men. Wait, why have we left the ramp? We don't need to go in through one direction. Why? <laughs> why is this happening to us? I've not done that right. I've, I left the AI on auto mode. And they've done one, two formations. Delegate command. Okay, it might be my fault. We'll see what happens now. Maybe they go the other direction. Or can I tell them just to... This way, man. This way. They don't seem to care about my commands. Oh, wait. They're already inside, some of them. Just keep doing your own thing. We'll win eventually. What's going on? There's a bunch of lemming Romans over there. Oh, this is a bit congested. Um, how do we get over there? Oh, looks like we're putting back. Uh, guards, be careful. We're about to be uh, swarmed by tons of Romans. I think we need to run away bravely. It's not looking good. I mean, I guess we can go downstairs. Maybe open the gate. Oh, they're getting closer. Run, men, run! There's still a guy down there just shooting. Well, hello there. Oh. Got him. Oh, I gotta get out of here, man. We gotta get out of here. What are you dudes doing? Okay, I'm going to take direct control of these guys. Follow me. Fight in this area. We'll see if we can reclaim the wall a bit. I mean, the archers are pretty easy to kill, right? They're not going to be too crazy. But the actual infantry, not so much. I mean, so far, though, we've got a lot of kills, though. So it's looking pretty good for us at the moment. Oh! Don't kill me, please. I have a family. Actually, I don't actually, but we'll pretend I do for this that comment. Whoa, that was a great bad flip. Okay, we can reclaim this part of the wall, men. We will reclaim what we once gained. We will reclaim what we once lost. Okay, what I'm going to do... Oh, we've broken through. We're in. We've lost the main part over there. Perfect. Okay, let's be careful. A single stab from these guys and it could be over us. So we've got to be very cautious. Oh, no! No! Romacus! It's over. I guess now we just wait and see what happens. I think the AI should spread around the win the day, hopefully, for us. Yes, they're working. Go, men, kill them all. Oh, there's a bunch of guys guarding the main gate. Are they trying to, like, keep the flies out or something? They keep flapping the doors. Okay, it's a very weird battle right now. I'm not sure what kind of strategy this is, but it does seem to be killing a lot of my men. Ah, but we've broken through in the end. There must be a guy that's, like, stuck somewhere. Because the AI is extremely confused right now. I think we just cut our losses, end the battle, or to resolve the rest of it, and then we should have got this place captured. And then I'm pretty sure we're going to immediately lose our army afterwards, but at least we tried, right? Victory!
Now, I have got enough people here to maybe do an, another cast siege or two, but we've got to be a bit careful with this. I guess the, probably the best bet is to drop it for now, and we call some reinforcements in instead. Uh, if we go over to the managed garrison, I can probably get a lot of reinforcements on my own army here. Uh, officers. I'll take them all. Anyone that's German comes with me. I don't want too many though, because otherwise I run out of room in my garrison, which would be pretty bad. Oh, these guys, this guy can come as well. So we're pretty much back up to where we were at full strength, which is pretty good to see. And my allies are very wounded right now. The ladder's under attack. Let's go and see if we can save that. I presume it's not under attack by the Romans. It's probably under attack by the Dryatic tribes. I wonder if we can try and force peace with them. But then we have to make, they have, we have to pay them, which is probably not a good idea. We'll go over there anyway and see what we can do. Oh no, they came from the ocean. Oh, it's okay. They're not going too crazy yet. Let's call my reinforcements in, though. Uh, whoever you guys are, you might want to keep on running. You're about to get attacked by a lot of Romans. Oh, no. They're dead. Now, I don't know how far away my friends are, but we can at least sneak by here. And we'll try and kill that thing in the field. Though we need more units. Let's get probably 200 more men. Oh, perfect. <laughs> that guy. <laughs> this guy has exactly what I need. And together we should be able to take them on, I think. So is this owned by... No, it's still Roman. I was hoping it might be the tribesmen instead. Oh, so it's a Roman army attacking ladder. Oh, no. And now they've combined. We need more troops, everybody. We need more men. Uh, let's just get... Oh, they're so expensive. Yeah, all the good lords are being taken up at the moment, so we can't really afford that much. I can try and get some cheaper ones and have a lot of them, and then we'll try and take on this dual army we found in this corner here. So I can either decide to go in and do a siege defense or just flat out attack them. I feel like siege defense will make us lose more, and on the field it will be better. Oh, this is going to be a tough battle, though. We're going to try it. We're going to go in. We're going to try our best. And we're going to try and succeed. If I wait any longer, my ally is going to steal all my thunder. And I don't want that to happen. So we're going to go in. Uh, let me just check my... Not my sorry. I want to check my skills. Do we get anything that helps me out in combat here? Trade penalties with cities? Yes, that's what we need, everybody. Uh, we'll grab that fella. Also, we get ourselves... Public speaker. That is actually very good for leveling up ourselves faster. And I guess the bush doctor. <laughs> sure, that would be fine. Let's do it. With these new skills I've achieved, we will win the battle. 401. And we got the best possible guy in charge of the inventory. No. Yes, yes we do. Sorry, we do have the best possible guy. My leaders aren't very good. Uh, I presume all the like guys in my armies, the party leaders, are either new lords or they're kind of like wounded or something. We'll, we'll see. Uh, ready up. Let's go. What am I playing? A MMO. <laughs> ready up, go. dude. Jacob seven four five's not ready. What's he doing? Oh no, there's so many of them. Okay, uh, I want you to spread out because that worked really well last time. So we have a less of backup, but we have a larger line that kind of encircles the enemy here. Ready, man. Ready. And what we do, we put the archers on one side as well. And then when the main battle begins, they can run around the flank. How many archers do they have? 44. In fact, guys... Oh, they've already done it. Wait. Uh, how do I do this? Let me just go recombine. Run off to the side of the map, if you, can, if you can get over there, guys. Retreat, go that way. I'll tell them to attack the, cav uh, the archers in a second. Ready, man? The Roman legions are approaching. We must defend... Oh, random castle I gained. There's a lot of them. Hard men, prepare yourselves. Let me throw stuff as well. Ah, my throwing skill is still really bad. <laughs> I want to destroy your shield. Okay, it doesn't work for me. Never mind. Ready? Okay, cavalry, kill the archers. Wait for it. Are we fully in the battle yet? Nearly. Okay, guys, charging in circle. Go, go, go! It's going to be a tough one. I think I'm going to try... Unlike last time, I'm going to fight in the middle because it's so spread out. I'm going to try and make like a hole, which will then split us into two flanks where we can circle from both sides. That's the plan, everybody. 
Oh, that guy's there. That was a beautiful kill. I love that one. Now, I've also learned as well, go for the hands. The Achilles hands, everybody. The Achilles hands. The armor's too powerful. Oh, don't knock me into enemy combat, please. That would suck. Let's try and avoid that if we can. I like how most people are just Ramis attacking in the back. <laughs> like, attack the air. It's coming. He's got his shield up. I'm trying to wait for him to drop his guard so I can whack him. Oh, this guy wants me. Oh, what happened to him? He <laughs> just fainted. I guess I had a bad day here. Yeah, what? Very strange. Okay, um, how's it looking so far, though? Currently, we're winning by a lot, which is good news for us. We can do this, men. I thought we might actually have a chance of losing this, but if we're already winning, that's a good sign for us. Okay, that looks pretty good. This bit here, there's only like two or three guys in the entire flank. So if we break it a bit more, we would have broken through them completely. I would run through, but I'm really concerned they're going to turn around and flank me with like five guys. My allies won't follow me through. They, they're standing uh, in their formation. Okay, get around the back, get around the back. Oh, we're going in. We got guys. I can't wait until, I know it's not going to be for like a long time, but when they get like proper AI going, like so it's actually like intelligent in video games, imagine these games then. Like when you run around, there's guys like doing their own thing. You're like, oh, this guy's a cow. He's going to run away. Oh, it's going to be so cool. I have like a dynamic like AI war kind of thing. I I'm looking forward to it. And especially like RPGs as well. Imagine when like you go to do a quest chain, you talk using your mic and they like talk back to you and it changes the story and stuff. It's going to be amazing. Basically, as soon as I can, I'm going into the Matrix, okay? I it's going to happen. I don't care what happens in the real world. I'm, le I'm leaving. <laughs> That or I go to Mars, one of the two things. Oh, look at this. We're switching in. We've done it. So why is this happening so well for us? Is it because I switched out to my basic infantry? Yeah, look at their kills. 50, 60 kills, 14 losses with the basic infantry because they have only thrusting weapons. My plan worked, everybody. It's good to see us come back on top it. Let's be careful. The arm thing's really good though. Look, I should have done this earlier. It make, really makes things easier. I mean, that one, 103 damage on that one there. Okay, this bit's in our bag. Let's go to a bit that's not as powerful. We're going to try and make a hole there as well. Okay, let's see. Why, hello? Also, as well, when I attack them in the back, they get pushed into the enemy of uh, my allies' formation. So it's actually really, really handy. Oh, leader! Oh, he knows I'm here now. It's not going to work again. Oh. It's like a shot. They have like no object permeance. <laughs> They're like, there's no one there anymore. Uh oh. He's coming in for a kill. Okay, a little bit more kills here. And we should have another break in the formation. Move in, men. Move in. I've done it again. We've created a bunch of separate... What the heck? It goes all the way down there. Oh, there's so many enemies still. Okay, let me go and do it. I could do it again. We're going for the hat trick, everybody. Archers, wherever you are, come around the back here and help us out. Oh, is it? They're getting a bit close. If two of them turn around... Oh, no. I'm in trouble. I should have got guards again like last time. Try, try, try again. That's too many guards, but I'll try anyway. Follow me, guards! Help me! I can't win a 2v1 in this mod. It's impossible. Are you Are you, are you my guards? I need some assistance, friends. Yes! <laughs> my elite guard will protect me from harm's way. This guy's shield seems shy on the other ones. He must be the chosen one. Or he agrees with good maintenance. I don't know what's happening on this part of the map, though. The Romans have a map. Oh, look, my guys have showed up. <laughs> hey, guys. The Romans have a really good advantage over here. They're doing bits against my enemies, uh, my allies. So we're going to try and flank around a bit and go to the, the complete end. Look how many are here. It's ridiculous. Oh, they're running. We've done it. It's over. I'm trying to finish them off with some stabbing, but it's not really working out in my favor here. It's done, though. We've done it. 
That went really, really well. I thought that was going to be a loss, to be honest. I was going to give it a shot anyway in case we won, but that was brilliant. Okay, you're all my prisoner again. And also, I got this, I got to, not only did I take down two armies, I also managed to save my new castle as well. I have too many. I think I might let them go. Actually, I should have done that before, because otherwise it's going to be no one to fight, right? And I kind of want to fight people, so we might accidentally let all the legionaries go. Oh! <gasps> I found an upgrade to my Gladius? Eight Pierce! We have to try this. It might be the most powerful Gladius ever made. Ever known. That's okay. I'm going to sell more for loot anyway in a second. Okay, let's get back over this way then. Monk, join me, my friend. Because how big's their army now? It's weirdly the same size it was earlier. <laughs> Even though we just killed like a thousand troops. I guess they're getting some reinforcements. Because how many laws do I have in this prison right now? I think it's ridiculous. Uh, let's have a look. Gungeon. Oh, most of them have escaped. No, it's, it's this way. It got 13. Oh my god. We're letting them all go. Let them respawn. We need to fight them all. It's a shame what I should have. It's a shame what they should do in this mod. They should have like a different version where it's not this time period, where it's earlier. So Rome's just starting out. So you have like. They're surrounded by enemies, right? And you force the Rome. There's only one of them. To take that ability, uh, this one, standing armies, that would make them the strongest faction in, in terms of weight, so they can hit above their weight, and then there'd be like a giant war against this massive numbers of people. That, if they did that, I would then play as Rome. It'd be really cool. Anyway, uh, what we need to do here then, let's get rid of all these. I'm sure, yes. The Romans have been sold back. They should be respawning shortly with massive amounts of troops. Okay, let's try and get a Crover in here. What? What's your... Are you going into the ocean? That's going to be expensive. That guy just probably spent 100 grand to get into that ship there. That guy's bankrupt for life now. So what's he doing? He's going to go in and take over... Oh. Interesting. So if that's the case, I'm going to go over this way and take over the random locations down here. I want to leave Rome to last, personally. But there is also a chance that AI might just go and get it. Which would be a bit of a shame. Because I feel like it should be like the mega fortress that it takes ages to take down. So I should figure out how to make um, specialized buildings. So they can have like a specialized building for room in this mod. So it's like, oh, it has plus 5 or 10 garrison or like militia growth or something. Just so you know it's like a really powerful city and not just a regular place. Oh, no, it's just putting it out there, guys. Just putting it out there. Anyway, uh, let's go and take over this fortress over here. I'm surprised there's not more reinforcement at this point, to be honest, because we have got a lot... Oh, actually, our troops have gone down. We must be losing a lot of people in the wars. Oh, it'll be fine. Don't worry about it. I might actually just attack this time, because it looks like this guy is so slow at building defenses. We're just going to give it a shot with just us and some ladders. Now, I think as long... The main reason I build the trebuchets is literally just to kill the catapults, because the catapults, left alone, will probably kill... A hundred dudes each per battle. It, it needs to be stopped. Okay, we're, we're good to go. Whoa! <laughs> Why have I started here? What's going on? Oh, no! Don't... Okay, I thought I was going to be stuck in that pit for the rest of my life for a second there. Can you imagine the horrors that would have tailed from there? Okay. Out by way. We must attack our enemies. Oh, not good. I, am I stuck on this bit? I think I am. Let me go around the edge. Okay, let's go. Oh, this looks really hostile. Actually, I think the left hand had a bit safer. Let me go this way. <laughs> Wait, I changed my mind. Okay, I'm, I'm happier now. Do you know what? Now that one looks safer. Maybe it's just cursed either way, everybody. Oh, I'm seeing a lot of red and not a lot of blue, but we're going to try our best. Now, we have got my brand new 8 thrust damage Gladius, which might be the most powerful weapon humanity's ever created. Let me just get high. Whoop. Okay, it didn't work. Never mind. Oh! I'm in, I'm in! Wait, hello there. Oh. Oh no, the posture system! The posture system! I don't even know why my attack didn't even land there. Oh! He dropped his weapon! Oh, it, it, it's like... it's like It gives and takes, everybody. It gives and takes. It might kill you, or it might save you. Are you my bodyguard? Together we can survive, my friend. Let's be careful. This guy looks dangerous hit. Uh oh. I'm kind of panic stabbing. Get him away from me here. 
Okay, they seem to have battled a bit. Don't look at me like that. I will hit you in the face with my javelins. I'm getting pretty good at throwing these. I probably shouldn't say that. I'll probably jinx myself now. Okay, we're losing troops en masse. Look at the kills we're having right now. It is not looking good for us. We need to try and get some enemies out the way to bring our troops into the fortress here. If I go for the ones that are looking away from me completely, we should be... Oh, that guy's doomed. It is not them off. Someone's hitting me. Is it you with the crossbow? Someone's actually hurting me from behind. I think it's this guy. Uh oh. What's this posture like? No, let me let me stab you, sir. Let me stab you. Thank you. <laughs> it's got some HP going here. Oh, wrong button. Oh no, I made a mistake. I can come anyway, though. No, I can't. I take it back. So far, we're getting destroyed. Look at the kills ratio here. If we just get some guys in this fortress, though, it should turn around. We have a lot of guys to spare anyway. Okay, I wish I could get like a better angle here, but they're kind of blocking everything. Oh, there's one. Wait, they're pushing through. Back up, back up, back up. That was pretty scary. That oh, <laughs> Steve! Steve's gone. Oh, don't fall forward. Do not fall forward, please. That's not the way you want to go, man. It's just me now. I lose my allies that were here die. Oh, apart from that guy. Do you know what? I think we've reached a turning point, everybody. We're starting to push them back so we can get more reinforcements in. It's looking good. No! Me! All right, these guys fast forward here. Oh my god, I really should have built more equipment. The deaths are insane. But we will win here. Oh. Oh, I thought it crashed for a second. I was like, oh no, it's just stopped working. Yeah, I think the uh, fast forward speed is a bit dangerous on the old computer sometimes, guys. <laughs> I had to get one of those new, uh, what are they called, 4090 supers or something? Wait, what's happening here? Have they fallen down? No, what are they doing? I don't know. We'll leave, we'll end the battle again, we'll do the auto resolve. There must have been a guy in the wall or something, it happens quite often. Uh, send troops. This way, this John Wick of Rome just kills everyone. Oh, my troops are dying en masse, but we are making progress here, guys. Hundreds, thousands of people are dying, but we will succeed. Let's get the other one as well. After this, we've captured the entire entry point into Rome, and we get like a nice little natural choke point. We're not playing Hearts of Iron, though, so that doesn't really matter, but I feel like it would be a good place to put a defensive line. Okay, so we've got one more place here. We attack this place as well. How's your attacking going over there? I can't tell from far away. You can see when he starts sieging because his numbers start going down quickly, but we're a bit far away at the moment. I think this time we will build some siege towers. It works a lot better. <laughs> uh, peace with the... Ooh, okay. Is he going to try and make peace with the Romans? That's what I'm worried about. We'll get rid of all this... I don't know what that means. We'll get rid of that. Okay, you've got to keep an eye out then, everybody. Keep an eye out for a peace deal with the Romans, and we'll try and block it with our influence if it appears. How many factions are there now? Oh my god, guys. Just join the same faction! We could break away! <laughs> Come on! Damn it, guys. Damn it. Oh, I'm not part of any... I've been kicked out of a faction. Wait, if I leave... Join... Create new... There you go, I don't again. <laughs> I am once again in two factions at the same time. Hey, are we good? Kill that last catapult and we're going in. I've got the sea showers, right? Perfect. Okay, let's go and attack right now and see how it goes. Particular group of friends or it's going to be over. Hopefully it works out.
Okay, hopefully I get around it. Oh, I like this map. I've not seen this map in, like, ages, guys. I, I really like it. I used to play it all the time. So if you fight Ro not Roman, if you do the, uh, wait, where am I going? <laughs> if you fight the uh, Imperials in base game, you can see this map quite often. Okay, where are the Kata? There they are. Oh, okay, let's get in there. I'm getting a lot of good coverage with these throwing weapons this time. Let's get in there, though. I think I might die early on, but I don't really mind if I do, because I can win and watch it from the sky. So we'll see how it works out. Oh, they're doing a great job of the kills, though. How are they getting those angles in there? I can see a guy with, like, five shields, uh, spears in his shield. Oh, my God! <laughs> what on earth am I witnessing right now? Wait, should I add to it? Wait, let me get mine out. Ah, oh, 15 damage. Sad sadness. Okay, I'm not seeing many guys getting up these ladders, man. Let's get, let's get up there, man. At least with these low-level guys. If I hit them once, they should die. Let's get to the corner if I can. Wait, jump. Jump. Space bar, man. Jump. There, we're through, we're through, we're through. Ooh. Okay, let's make a hole. Now, remember, there's not actually that many defenders in this one. There's only like 100 odds, so we should be quite quick to win. We seem to kill a few of them, and then we should be good to go. Oh, back up. Okay, um, I'm pretty certain they're retreating now. Once we get most of our guys in, it should be quite quick to capture the fortress. We've already killed, like, half of them anyway, so it's looking pretty damn powerful. I think... Was that guy an ally? Oh, my bad. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I didn't realise. We're in. Oh, that guy is not happy. Oh. Kicks don't work. They block every time. I need some help. Wait, there's rocks. Throw it! Throw it! Ah, oh, no! I must escape into the pigsty. Ah. 1v1 now, is it? Let me try and break his shield with my throwing weapons, actually. They should do a lot of damage to them, but... Yeah, yeah that's what I want to see. I'm use the tree as leverage hit. That's one dead. No, oh, I didn't see him attacking me. Are they, is that back up? Kill that man! Avenge me, men! Oh, they, they decide not to. Okay, well, we tried anyway. And it's victory. Did the trebuchets just blow open the gate? Oh, at least that they did something, right? And victory. Nice. I'll take it. So, at this point, I'm going to end the video here. I, I'm actually going to... I'm going to be honest with everybody here. I'm, I don't really enjoy the Rear Sabata mod combat module very much. Uh, you probably noticed it. It's actually been taking me like five hours to record a single video because it's just... It's, 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 it's a tough challenge, guys. Tough challenge. So what I'm going to be doing, I think next episode is going to be the last. Originally, I was going to do this for 10 episodes, bear in mind. But I decided to cut it short by one. But I'm going to do like a longer episode. So it might take like a few hours for me to take over the whole of Rome. But we will do it, everybody. We're just going to take down the Imperium Romanum faction. And we're going to call it a day there. Uh, yeah, I just feel like it's really weird because I get a lot of comments. But comments don't necessarily mean it's the state of the people. So some people say I don't like Rears of Battle Mods. Some people say they, it needs to be used or it's not playing Banner Lord. I feel like the mod is brilliant with the AI changes. It really makes the game so much better. But with the combat module, it's not it for me. I've, some people might love it. But I, I like being able to run around killing people like peasants with swords and stuff. Or like throwing weapons and killing dudes without any armor. Those are the kind of things I like in the game. And without it, it's a very tough sell for me. Um, so, like I said, I'll do one more episode. It's going to be like probably two or three hours to uh, next two days. And we just smash out all of this. It's going to be glorious. I can force the AI to continue to declare war on them. So it doesn't matter about what the AI thinks. We will kill Rome. And we'll go from there. I hope that everyone has enjoyed this episode. It's going to be a lot of sieges. I'm sorry. But it's just how things are. We're hopefully finished off the Romans next episode and then we can move on to something else. So hopefully by the time I finish next episode, there'll be a, like some new mods come out. We can try and play them in Lord and we can go from there. Apart from that though, thank you for watching. As always, please like, subscribe, and comment below and I'll see you next time. Bye.